Let's talk about those treatments a little bit more, the, the, what we call traditional treatments, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. What do they do to the body, um, and, and, and do they actually treat cancer? Well, when it comes to surgery, sometimes there may be a need, you know, if there's a big blockage in the colon or, you know, an emergency situation, sometimes surgery may be necessary. Um, I do feel, though, that the biopsies that are used to find out, you know, what type of cancer, especially for breast cancer, I mean, I see women who have had four, five, six biopsies. The, if the tumor is encased and they start poking needles and holes and drilling holes and compressing with a mammogram, that's going to spread the cancer in the body and make it more malignant. So that can certainly drive cancer. Uh, when it comes to chemotherapy, again, you're dealing with a person who's already sick, their immune system's compromised, and cancer cells resist death. So no matter how toxic of a poison you put in there, your body is not going to have the ability to, you know, to fight that off. Um, and, you know, we've seen the effects of chemotherapy. It's horrible. Yeah. You know, people die from, from the effects of chemotherapy. Um, and what chemotherapy does often is that it creates um, breast can or, or cancer stem cells, which is resistant to more types of chemotherapy. And then if we look at radiation, same thing. Radiation may shrink that initial tumor, but what is it doing to the rest of the body? Radiation causes cancer, right? And so another situation where you're creating more cancer stem cells, which three years, five years later, another tumor pops up somewhere. Well, it's no wonder. You've poisoned and you've radiated the body.